Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for whenever it resonates. So, you know, this could be a new moon reading, could be the 17th, the 18th, whatever. The timing is fluid, okay? So, let's just see what comes up. So, what do we have for a message today? What kind of message? What's happening? What's happening? What's, what's about to happen? What is about to happen? Chariot. Chariot reverse. Now this is stop. This is lack of control, lack of discipline, emotions all over the place. Five of Pentacles reverse. There's some sort of abandonment here. Somebody is feeling abandoned or ne neglected or victimized or something like that. We have an unhealthy relationship. There's disgrace, embarrassment. But with the Five of Pentacles reverse, there is some sort of, well... Oh, you, typically there's a turning point that is coming. A turning point is coming, but we have somebody that doesn't have any strength. They don't have any mental strength. Hmm. <laughs> oh, the strength card reversed because they wanted to give me clarification. There is no mental strength. We got somebody here that is weak. They don't have the courage. They don't. They're they're sick or they're vulnerable. They don't feel good enough. They don't feel like they're adequate. There's some sort of victim victim mentality. We have somebody here that isn't going anywhere. They're not doing anything. They're stuck, perhaps. Strength card reversed. Now that is vulnerable, weak, low self-esteem. There is definitely some weakness here. Sick. There could be somebody that is sick as well like physically sick um, <laughs> bad news bad luck something is happening I feel like we have this is a this is a bad timing Something to do with the wheel as well. Definitely stuck. The wheel isn't spinning. It's trying to spin, but we have somebody here that isn't going anywhere. They're stuck. There's clinging to control as well. Both of these cards, clinging to control. Having a hard time going with the flow. We got somebody here that doesn't want to go with the flow. They don't want to accept change. There's an absence of success here because we have somebody here that is in their ego. They have pride, a lot of pride. There's an element there, or a feeling of depression. Definitely not going anywhere. And emotions are definitely all over the place. We got somebody here that definitely isn't mastering themselves right now. There's a lack of discipline and determination because of ego. Ego is definitely in the way. Pride. This person, it's almost like this person doesn't want to beg or doesn't want to ask for forgiveness or doesn't want to ask for help or something. Is a victim. You know, I'd rather be a victim than, you know, be happy. That kind of thing. Now, the Wheel of Fortune reverse, that is uh, a delay, a setback. A fall from grace. This is somebody that is repeating negative patterns. And I feel like their past is coming back to haunt them. Somebody's past is coming back to haunt them because they keep repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. They, these mistakes are based on ego. Okay, so we got some egotistical problems here. But anyhow, um... Feeling inadequate. We're having somebody here that is feeling not good enough. 
They don't want to be rejected. They're afraid of, this is fear. They're extremely fearful. No faith. We have somebody here that is very, very fearful. They're fearful of, of you know, being turned down. Now, this is uh, the Wheel of Fortune reverses. What is this Wheel of Fortune reverse? That's stuck, clinging to control. Uh, something not working out because of because of power, because of power and control. Somebody is, is choosing, or they're trying to stop something from happening. They're trying to stop it. No, I don't want this to happen. Well, it's supposed to happen. The Wheel of Fortune is meant to be. It's destiny. It's almost somebody is trying to stop something from happening. Um, three of Cups. Stop a reunion, maybe? Three of Cups reversed. Now, that is a termination. Highly competitive. Lack of emotional growth. Not having any fun. Friends parting ways. There could be a third party situation here. Third party interference. This is gossiping. Um, but this is the end. This is the end of a, of a, of a third party. It's the end of a friendship. It's parting ways. Parting ways from somebody that is, is delaying success. This is delaying success. So, so there's delay. There's a delay of success. There's friends and other people that are meddling. We have meddlers here. And pride may be stopping somebody from, you know, their destiny. You know, their pride. Worried about what their friends are going to say. Now, this is like the strength card reverse is somebody that is not very brave, okay? Could be a coward, somebody that gives up very easily. Um, ten of Cups. Now, tens are completions. This is about. A relationship it's about happiness it's about a permanent love relationship somebody has an opportunity for happiness they do but they have to part ways maybe with their friends or with people that don't really support them there's a lack of support here from friends or family or something like that very controlling energy as well not wanting to give up control not wanting to lose control doesn't want to deal with opposition doesn't want to uh, you got somebody here doesn't want to deal with any opposition at all very very weak cowardly Now this is a this is a horrendous loss, the wheel of fortune reversed. This is something that is meant to be that is being lost because of a third party interference or pride or something like that. Wheel of fortune reversed. It feels like uh, well death holding on is getting old. Now this is a, a very major Major, major, major. So we have we have some majors here. The universe is trying to get somebody to change directions. That's what the universe says. It's time to change re re directions. We have somebody here that is too weak, too stubborn, too fixed, too prideful, to something to accept change. That sucks. That really sucks. Death card reversed. Now, there could be a disaster ahead with that chariot reverse, the death reverse, and the wheel of fortune reverse. Those are, that's a horrendous loss. A shocking, unpredictable, horrendous loss. Maybe an accident. I'm not sure if there, some, that somebody, that something could happen by accident. And accidents, there's all different kinds of accidents. It doesn't have to be a car accident. There's, it, there could be an accident. Something happens by accident. There's definitely a delay with the Wheel of Fortune, with all these three cards, okay? There's a delay. We have a delay in success. We have a delay in happiness. 
that it's been delayed. Somebody's happiness has been delayed because of lack of determination, lack of faith, too much fear, holding on to something that is dead. It's not meant to be. Somebody is held back by fear and it is getting old and there's a lot of indecision here which is keeping somebody stuck <sighs> a lot of tiredness here too tired tired Poor judgment. Oh my God. We got somebody whose health is declining. They're very, very sick. Okay. They may even be ashamed. They may be feeling guilty. Somebody has an opportunity to move on from a bad choice, but they are afraid of not being accepted. Okay. They're not listening. They're not listening to the, to the higher power. They're not answering the higher call. They know that if they come forward, they'll be put on trial. You know, they'll be asked a bunch of questions and that is what is holding them back. We have somebody here that has a lot of doubt and they, you know, I feel like that's why. That's why they're not coming forward. They're not, they're not making any moves because they have doubts. They have doubts that they will be accepted. Lack of judgment. Somebody has made a poor judgment call. Or they're making a poor judgment call right now. About a relationship. It is about a relationship. We have somebody here. Now this is not waking up. Refusing to wake up. You know, I'm not sure what is going on. There could be some overindulgence here with that Three of Cups reverse. Could be drinking. Somebody could be drinking too much. Uh, I'm not sure what is going drinking. Maybe it's drinking and driving. I Hopefully that's not the case. But we do have that chariot. I'm not sure if there's drinking. There could be an accident. And I hate to scare people. But not here to make friends. So. I'm not here to make friends. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Anyhow, um, this is a golden opportunity to go down a new path towards happiness. Somebody has an opportunity. It's going to be offered to them. In the next day, in the next 24 hours, I would say, that somebody is going to be offered or they will see an opportunity to go down a new path. This can lead to something permanent, can lead to a permanent, this is permanent happiness, okay? Permanent relationship, something long-term, something stable. Now, this doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be a new home. This is something you can touch, something you can take to the bank, something that will last, something abundant and happy. And anyway, in the next 24 hours, somebody is going to be given an opportunity. Uh, but this to go down this path, you will have to master your emotions and be ready to face judgment from your friends in your family, and whoever it is that you are worried about. Just saying. Somebody's pride is so big that it is affecting their happiness. This is a gift. Somebody's going to be given a, a golden opportunity, a gift. To be real. This is about getting real. This is a real opportunity for stability, for security, for happiness. 
but you're going to have to be brave. Somebody's going to have to be brave. They're going to have to have courage and they're going to have to, uh, this is the past. They're going to have to leave something. They're going to have to leave something behind, you know, and maybe forgive because judgment is a card of forgiveness. Maybe ask for forgiveness. Now the chariot reverse though is a disaster ahead. Okay, emotional outburst. We have somebody here that is definitely lacking direction. They don't know which way to go. They're holding on to a dead end. It's a near death experience, you know. They're 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 very very sick, you know. They're ill. Their their health is declining and they're probably getting sicker because they're not following their heart. They're not answering the call. It's like they're being poked. You got to go. You got to go. You got to go. Let go of your fear. Let go of your fear, but the fear, you know, that's a life lesson overcoming fear. So anyway, in the next 24 hours, somebody is, it's almost like they're going to get stopped, you know, because that chair is first card out. That is stop. Stop stalling. Change is needed. Profound change with that death card. It is time for a change. It's time to let go. It's time to release. It's time for a new life. It's time for the next chapter with that Wheel of Fortune. But you're going to have to face reality and you're going to have to face the truth and accept. That strength card is weak. Weak, weak, weak. Friends, family, somebody is like making all the judgment calls. Somebody's fear of what their friends and family are going to say. That's a sad situation right there. Very sad. Afraid of being rejected as well. You're going to have to deal with your emotions. What's the worst that could happen? Really? Somebody says no? Well, at least you got your closure. Great fear here. Just saying. Great fear. Great fear of, of what everybody else is going to say too. If, the, if you're worried about what your friends are going to say and that they're going to judge you and they're going to reject you, then they aren't real friends and they aren't your family that support you. Fuck them. Real friends and family stick by you in your decisions. If they don't, if they give you grief, then they aren't your friends. Anyhow, we do have a golden opportunity here going to be presented. This is a gift. It's something that's huge. This is huge. Okay. Huge opportunity for extreme happiness here. But it will require strength, courage, action, and needing to let go of something pride. It will require change as well. But this is a horrendous loss with that Wheel of Fortune reverse. I wonder if there's a something is happening here. There's an ending, okay? Because of these all these tens, okay? This there's a ten. This is a death. This is a this is an ending. This is an ending. So we have we do have an ending here. Something is ending. Okay? Something significant is ending. And it's been there's been a lot of resistance to it. A lot of resistance.
four of pentacles holding on for the money somebody's holding on for the money very very stubborn very selfish somebody is staying where they are just for the money just for the stability of it they don't want to have to pay out they don't have you know they don't want to have to pay money they want to hold on to their money it's the only reason they're staying for the money let go You have a bigger opportunity waiting for you. It's I'm telling you what. What's it going to be? Happiness or money? This is a poor judgment call. It really is. Somebody is making a poor judgment call by holding on to something that <laughs> really doesn't serve them. Okay? Just let it go. And it could be a third party. There are somebody's. I don't know what it is. Somebody needs to let go of something. But if there's so much fear of rejection here too, which is interesting. Anyway, we have a golden opportunity right here. This is a gift. This is this is once you accept reality and go down that path, you will be accepted. You will be accepted. You will get this gift. But you don't get it till after you face your fears. Seriously, there's fears big time. You're going to have to master your emotions and just do it. Okay, one more. One more. This chariot reverse next to the death reverse. This is like... Stop. Right now. You have to do this right now. There could definitely be an accident. Ah, magician reversed. Oh, this is somebody that cannot take action or takes action without thinking. Could go either way. Magician reversed is a powerless. Somebody that is very arrogant, unbalanced, um, manipulative we have a, somebody here that and they may this is like a liar somebody they can't master their emotions again this is not a master this is but it is a master manipulator this person is a master manipulator it could be a criminal um the magician reversed is somebody that is abusive this is somebody that is a show-off we have a show-off here that may trying somebody may be trying that could be the accident that i see the magician reversed is somebody that does something without thinking they act without thinking okay they uh this is somebody that is very arrogant that oh it could be abusive abuses something some sort of abuse here Mental imbalance. I think we have somebody that has a mental imbalance here as well. Um, mentally unbalanced. No, no resources. No, no, no power. A loss of power. Lack of awakening as well. Not waking up. I wonder if somebody's not. I don't know what's happening, but this is a lack of awakening. Um, There's an abuse of power here as well. We have a very uh, manipulative ind individual here who wants power, wants all the control, and doesn't respect others. This person doesn't respect others, Doesn't probably doesn't even respect themselves. This is somebody who is not of good character. Okay, that's not. A, this is not a good character right here. I don't know if there's going to be some freaking violence or what. This is like total ruin as well. Not getting help. <laughs> Jesus. Out of control. Somebody may be doing something out of control or they may go overboard. It could, you know, I don't know if it's if it's, if it's a drug overdose and they don't wake up or they get in an accident and I'm not trying to scare anybody, but 
when it don't look good. But over here in the future, we do have an opportunity for happiness. But somebody needs to take action right now. Before they, I don't know, it doesn't look good. This is a shocking, unpredictable loss to Wheel of Fortune Reverse. Somebody has been refusing to change, okay? That is what that is. Refusing to change, okay? I can't make that shit up. I cannot. They are. This is somebody who is uh, sick. Or, I don't know, could be mentally ill. They, they, or weak. Or, uh... Depressed. We have depression here as well. Uh, somebody egotistical, prideful. I mean, we could go all day. We have somebody here that is not. Uh, it feels like they're angry because that chariot reversed is anger. That's what can't master emotions. I, definitely. We definitely have somebody here that is. I don't know what the hell they're doing, but they're they're not listening to any advice. They're probably going to do something impulsive and uh, it could end badly. Just saying. You have somebody here that is very, very, very stubborn. And they may have been neglected by their friends or their family. So we could, we, I could change the story a hundred times. Anyhow... This Ace of Pentacles is a reality check. Okay? Knight of Wands on the bottom. Okay? The Knight of Wands is act now. Think later. And this is important. Somebody's going to do something without thinking. Okay? They're not going to really think it out like they should have. And I feel like, um, for some, it could lead to disaster. I mean, it, we, it definitely, with the chariot reverse, that could be a disaster ahead. I know I've changed the story. Okay. This could also be somebody coming in very, very, very fast. This person is fearless. They don't have any fear. Okay, this is somebody coming in very, very fast. They see a golden opportunity for happiness and they're going for it. So, however this resonates with you, good luck. Get prepared for an arrival. Good luck.